What's up, YouTube? It's the Master Gamer giving you a brand new video. In this video, we are starting something new. The Mutt Must Have Player of the Week. Something I got off Twitter. I asked you guys what you wanted to see in terms of series or video style content. And you guys pulled through. So specifically, I got this idea from at Kilkin Drixen on Twitter. Again, thank you to him for coming up with this idea and presenting it to me. I really liked it. So what I'm going to be doing is very simple. I'm going to be giving you a player that I feel like is a mutt must have every single week. I'm only going to do it once a week. I'm not going to flood your sub boxes with a whole ton of this guy is a must have, this guy's a must have. Nope, just once a week on a player that I think is actually a must have player. As you can see, week one, I think it's Donovan McNabb in Mutt. He is a great item. Obviously, the Vic is amazing. But you have to do so much stuff to make the Vic good. You gotta get 12,000 scheme chemistries and 18 team trainings, and that's all gonna cost you extra training on top of just powering up Michael Vick. Yes, he's probably the best quarterback in the game. I'm not gonna tell you he's not. But you gotta put in so much work to make him the best quarterback in the game. And if you don't wanna do that, it's so much simpler to buy Donovan McNabb. He's an incredible quarterback, all the same. He's only slightly less of a runner, but he's a better passer. So you don't have to do as much to make him a great quarterback. All you need to do, really, is, and it's optional if you don't power him up, is get two times two of the go deep count, which just put your starters on go deep and you have it. It's very simple. Vic, it's not as simple. That being said, moving on to really what makes McNabb shine, 85 speed is very good, 91 throw power, very solid. He meets all the thresholds in Mutt, as you can see with the 87, 88, and 84 deep. Obviously the 84 is one off, but if you power him up, he does get to 85. So if you think you're gonna stick with him, you can always power him up and he gets up to 85 and you're set. Don't need to do any chemistry. Moving on, you have 87 throw under pressure, which it's not perfect. There's definitely better quarterbacks in that stat, but it's not bad by any means. 91 throw on the run, I think it ends up being 90. I think he's at 91 because I chemmed him up. That's very solid. He gets again into that A rating of 90. Play action, eh, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Now, this is what's interesting too. In Mutt, you could spin and juke, which there aren't many quarterbacks that can do that. I am confident that Vic can, but so can McNabb, and that's kind of my point. McNabb can do everything Vic can do, but He's just a little bit more accurate, and that accuracy comes in clutch. I know a lot of you guys have used Michael Vick. You're complaining, well, why is my Vick overthrowing? Well, it's because he doesn't meet the thresholds, and if you want to make him meet the thresholds, you have to solve the Da Vinci Code, and, well, quite frankly, not everybody has time for that. I put up a video on it earlier, but again, it isn't straightforward. This McNabb is straightforward. You get him, you plug him in, and he plays very well. Now here, I'm going to take you guys over to Mutthead to break this down even more. So as you can see, the McNabb and the Vic compare very well. We're going to scroll down. You can see again, right? And eh, doesn't really matter. You still are cool, but it doesn't really matter. It's only a four speed difference. So you have 85 and 89 speed. Obviously, this McNabb isn't powered up. He gets pretty much all plus ones when you power him up. So if you want to compare it, just add a ones to all the stats for the most part. And that's what the power up looks like. Again, he's down in, he's up in strength a lot actually, which I don't know if it comes into play, but it can't hurt, right? The thing that you do see him suffer from is agility and acceleration. Yeah, he's he is definitely less of an athlete than Michael Vick in terms of pure open field moves. Regardless of what the other stats say, Vick is kind of like a human joystick. McNabb is very good. Vick is obviously still the best for that. I'm not gonna tell you he's not. But McNabb, again, McNabb's a plug and play, Vic isn't. And it's a lot easier to work with McNabb than Michael Vic. Moving down, you see plus 39 truck. I don't know why that would come up, but if it ever does, you'd rather have McNabb than Vic. It's just how, I mean, it's math. He's got 39 more truck. If you see Deion Sanders and you're thinking, wow, he looks like he's about to get trucked. You have to truck at that point. You don't have a choice. If he looks like he's about to get trucked, you have to truck. So if you're going to have Vic or McNabb that has to truck, it's got to be McNabb. So really from that alone, you have to use McNabb. There's no other option. If you have to truck, you have to truck. That's simple. 
Zaldana McNabb, clear choice, just based off trucking. That's science. You can't disagree with science. Um, moving on, in all seriousness, again, it's a very, they're very similar items. You can see, I mean, again, throwing sets, this, this medium threshold, that's what does it. That's what says McNabb can play much easier than Vic. And that's really what it comes down to, is if you're looking for a quarterback, you use the mutt, and you don't want to go through hoops and hurdles, the clear option is Donovan McNabb. Now let's look at his price, real quick, 380k on PS4, 340k on Xbox, that's not terrible by any means, yeah, it's, it's definitely a decent chunk, but it's not going to crush you. That being said, I hope this video helped you out, it's been the Master Gamer. And I'm out.